In this video, we're going to do some more questions on the binomial expansion. In question number 9, we're told the coefficient of the term in x squared in the expansion of 3 plus px to the fifth is 1080. Given that p is greater than 0, we're asked to find the value of p. I'm going to use the NCR method to find my coefficient and jump straight to the term. So we can say that this is going to be 5c2. We will have now 3 to the power of 3, and then we're going to have px to the power of 2, and this is going to be equal to 1080x squared. We can see that the x squareds are going to cancel. We're simply interested in the coefficient. So what we've got is 5c2. We can work that on a calculator, or we could remember it from Pascal's triangle. 5c2, we've got 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So this is 5c2. Again, if you want to find that on a calculator, just type in 5c2, and that will give us the 10. So let's go ahead and write that. That is going to be 10, and then we're going to have multiplied by 3 to the power 3, which is going to be 27. And then we're going to have p squared, which is going to be equal to 1080. So we can say that p squared, that's 270. 270 into 1080 will go four times. Again, we can just check that. So 1080 divided by 270, that is going to give us, uh, let's put divided rather than times, divided by, that's going to give us now 4. So P is equal to plus or minus the square root of 4. P is equal to plus or minus 2. Therefore, now P is equal to 2. As we know, P is greater than 0. So all I've done is simply gone ahead and jumped to that term. OK, let's do another one. In question 10, it says, given that the coefficient of the term in x in the expansion of 2 plus ax to the fourth is 12, find the coefficient of the term in x cubed. So again, let's go ahead and jump to that term. It will be 4c1. We will have now 2 to the power of 3. We will have ax to the power of 1. And that will be equal to 12x. Again, the x's will cancel. 4c1 is 4. 2 to the power of 3 is going to give me 8. And then we're going to multiply that by a. And that will be equal to 12. So we can see from here that 12 over 32 will be equal to a. Which, of course, we can simplify. 4 goes into both of these. So a is going to be equal to 3 over 8 as a simplified fraction. So we found the value of a. We now need to jump to the term in x cubed. So this time what I'm going to do is write that this is going to be 2 plus 3x over 8 to the power of 4. That's what we're going to use to jump to. I've just swapped over the a. So we're going to have 4c3 we will have 2 to the power of 1, and then we're going to have now 3 over 8x to the power of 3. We don't need the x in here, we just need the coefficient. So what we're going to have is 4c3. Again, we could use a calculator, or we could remember this from Pascal's triangle. 4c3 is going to give me 4 times by 2, and then we're going to multiply this now by 3 over 8 cubed. So that's going to be 27 over 512 at a quick guess. Um, so from here, I mean, we could do some simplifying if we wanted. I'm just going to put it through a calculator and we can get that value. So it's going to be 8 times by 8 goes into 512. So we could simplify that. Uh, I'll just write it like so. So 512. And that's going to give us 27 over 64. So that's going to give us 27 over 64 as a simplified fraction. And that is the coefficient of the term in x cubed. You can, of course, just write this out. So if you wanted to do 4, say if we just do 4c, uh, 4c3, let's put 4c3, times by 2, 
times by it now and you could put it all in as one showing your work in so in these kinds of questions is often quite important let's put this in and then that is going to give us exactly what we wanted so there we go a couple of basic questions on the binomial expansion and in later videos we will do some more exam style questions